Hey everybody, Mike McClellan here, and when it comes to flipping isolated targets, so often guys get completely caught up in just the specific bait that they're going to flip at those isolated targets, but when it comes right down to it, it's really the whole system of things that you're going to do to be successful flipping isolated targets. One of the biggest things that I think people get a misconception of is when you talk about flipping, everybody thinks big line, big rods, you know, big weights, and that's not always the case, especially when you start talking about isolated targets. You know, if you're you're flipping pole timber, if you're flipping isolated bushes, or even isolated clumps of grass, or, or maybe a pilings on, on pier style docks, really I think a lot of guys try to overdo it. When it comes to isolated flipping cover for me, I mean, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. I mean, very seldomly am I ever going to fish over 20 pound test sunline fluorocarbon shooter line. A lot of times I'll throw 18. 18 or 20 seems to be a perfect range for me. As far as the, the weight of the rod, you know, I'm not throwing a full-blown flipping stick when I'm flipping isolated targets. I'm throwing a medium heavy. It's uh, my heavy cover finesse jig rod. And basically, it's a rod that's a medium heavy action. It's got a lot of tip but it has the backbone, so once that fish bites that bait and I load up on him, I've got plenty of backbone to control him, set the hook, and get him out of the, the isolated targets. The other thing that you want to be careful about is, is the gear ratio reel you throw. A lot of guys like to throw a super high speed reel, and I've got an 8 to 1 gear ratio reel. It allows me to go quickly between the targets to retrieve my bait quick, and when I hook a fish, I can move that fish away from the targets quickly. So the Cabela's Arachnid 8 to 1 gear ratio reel is probably going to be my choice when it comes to that. When it comes to the bait, keep it simple. Colors can be really critical, but stick with your confidence colors. You know, blacks and purples and things of that nature are great in this tannic colored water. But if you're fishing those clear water bodies of water, stick to your natural pump colors. Green pumpkin, watermelon, watermelon red, and you're going to be successful fishing isolated targets.